Cage here, and earlier today, the Bad Reed had some stuff to say about me. So let's listen in and hear what he had to say. So let me break this down for you. I know a lot of people don't know who the Bad Reed is, but he was a guy that was inspired by KBW that he created his own program called BEW. And they've been on for about a year now. And that got a little popular, but then I got a little cocky. And I don't like it. And then especially when he made a video titled The Bad Reed Cage, I Want Your Spot. He just crossed the line. See, he wants to talk about me. Well, let me tell you something, Bad Reed. You want to talk about I'm not talented enough. You want to talk about how I'm not loyal or that I'm not as better looking. Then you want to call me names, call me a fraud, and curse me out. Well, let me let you in on some secrets, son. I'll let you in on right now, son. See, when it comes to talent, I'll shine you every day. When it comes to looks and wrestling, it doesn't even matter. And when it comes to loyalty, let me tell you a little bit of something about loyalty. When no one believed in KBW, when it was nothing, when I was putting my blood, sweat, and tears into it, when no one believed in it, I did. That's loyalty. For four years working my butt off to get to where we are today. Huh? Where am I a fraud at? That's your opinion. Huh? How am I a fraud? Let me give you some facts. Fact number one, I started KBW. Fact number two, KBW has over 40,000 subscribers. Something that BW could never even dream of. On a, so many of our videos have over 100,000 views that you and BW couldn't even imagine to get to that point. And you never will. Sorry to tell you, but you never will because you don't have the wrestling mind that I have. You don't have the speaking ability that I do. And you cannot perform like I can. I'm not saying I built this company from the ground up. I put the plan in the actions, got the roster members, and believed in it. And these people made it happen. The only way you could ever take my spot is if you didn't even acknowledge that I was the best. See, if I was in your position, I wouldn't have made a video asking to take someone else's spot. You know what I would have done? I would have said, I'm the best. Screw him. I'm going to continue to be the best. But no, since you acknowledge that I'm better than you, since you acknowledge that I'm the top dog, you can never be the top dog. You can't create the stories that I can and do the things that I've done. I don't need to name my accomplishments because this is my company and we all know wrestling's entertainment. All I'm talking about is at the end of the day, if I never won a match, if I've never won a title, if I've never done any of that, I go out there and I perform and I prove it. And I let the crowds and the fans go and tell other people about what Cage has done. I don't go and boast about it myself. And the fact that you acknowledge this means you'll never be in my spot. But I don't like talking. I'm done with talking. You can talk about wanting to take the torch, but unless you can get to that point, unless you can get those subscribers and get those views, you will never, ever take no any torch. But I'm done with talking. I like to do it. See, I'm in Mobile, Alabama. You're in Atlanta, Georgia. I'll bring the other champions of KBW, the Bama Kid and Hazard. I can't bring Pac-Man because he's still injured. I'll get them. KBW will invade BW. I'll take a little drive, and then me and you will settle this in the ring, and I'll do two things. It's not about the winner or the loss. It's about outperforming you and then knocking some sense and respect into your immature little mind and beat your face in. I'll see you this month, Bad Reed. <laughs>